is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, and all the aspects. Here we go. You've been getting away with doing exactly what you want for as long as you want for the last little while. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing for Capricorn to do what they want. Usually Capricorn's a very hardworking sign and puts a lot of effort and energy into things. And I really like to have a Capricorn around me because they're a really good match and really good support to me as an overall. Uh, so I really appreciate Capricorn in the workplace, hardworking beings. Um, I'm going to say, though, that Capricorn, you've been fooling yourself about something, okay? Not sure how that's going to play out for you yet, but it looks like something of the heart, something has, you've been fooling yourself about something, and maybe you haven't been feeling your absolute uh, best in terms of health. And maybe that's what you're fooling yourself about. Maybe you're ignoring it or thinking it's nothing, when really you should probably check into it, Okay. Because, you know, there's no need to put yourself through something if uh, you don't need to. So if you're not, if you haven't been looking after your physical uh, form, then this is a month that's going to uh, tip the scales and make you be more careful and more cautious and more mindful and more paying attention to you. Okay. Um, so change is going to have to come in with that because I think that, you know, often, I think the Capricorn often thinks that they're, um, untouchable and indestructible okay uh, but it isn't true it is true that you are often that way I'll, I'll give you that but for sure i think that this is a month where you might break down a little bit and you're gonna have to uh, look to yourself and care for more about yourself okay money is not the end all to be all Yes, money's good, but it's not the end all to be all. So you're going to have to pace yourself so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay. Um, your thoughts may be taking you back to a job or a career that you once had where you really loved it and really enjoyed it. It could be, you know, really connected to your heart, really c connecting to your soul, that kind of a thing. And maybe you haven't been doing jobs like that for a while. And that might be why you're kind of out of your game or not not feeling it not feeling passionate towards anything at this point and time maybe that's why you're not putting the effort in uh that you normally do okay uh, and it might also be because your physical health is not exactly as um you want it to be maybe you don't have the type of stamina that you once had or or that you recently had and maybe just feeling a little weak so it is about looking after yourself eating properly exercising sleeping if you're drinking or anything like that any drugs or drinking really needs to be curbed needs to be looked at um, none of those things are good for the capricorn and one of the things for sure about capricorn is if they do get uh, intrigued by some kind of stimulant they have a hell of a time getting off it so um, ask for help if that's the case for you okay if you are the the capricorn that gets stuck in old patterns unworthy patterns uh, drugs alcohol or even just being addicted to um, people or places or things or whatever you may need to check in with yourself on that and upgrade okay that's what I'm, I'm trying to say to you capricorns i think capricorns do better in relationships okay like a libra they like to be in a relationship they like to be in a full-blown um solid family situation uh, where they know their position where they know the, they like their routines they like that it helps them to sort of you know keep to their best and so those of you who have not been in committed relationships or who are in relationships where they seldom see their partner they're going to want some changes this month. They're going to try to make some changes happen this month so that things are more in line with what they need. So this month, I think June's going to really be important for you to look to what do you need? What do you want? How do you want it? What would make it feel better for you? Because I think up to now, you've been going with the flow kind of thing. And I think uh, it's time you did the building, rebuilding or uh, rehashing reorganizing that whole thing it's almost like uh, i think there might even be a mercury retrograde coming in june and if that's the case you capricorns are really going to use it to your advantage and and do things that uh, 
are going to make you feel like you're connected to people again. Because to me, it kind of looks like you feel a disconnect. Feel a disconnect with even with partners that you might be in. Maybe you just don't feel um, the vibe. It's not that you should break up with that relationship, but maybe you need to um, give it a give it a spruce up or or kick it up or change something up or something because you, you look like you're doing it on your own even if you've been in a relationship you look like you're doing it on your own for and this is creating a disconnect for you in all areas so it's really important that you reconnect find the sources that makes you strong that gives you the passionate vibe you need to um, have when you're making and creating uh, leadership is a good job for you however I think right now it'd probably be better for you to just regroup with you first before you try to lead anybody else you may have some emotional dependencies that you're not even realizing are there and this month will bring that to your attention and uh, likely you will put more effort into uh, dealing with it so you know if you're a bit of a codependent Maybe you feel as if you can't do something on your own. Maybe remember what I said about um, you Capricorns like to be in relationships or seem to do better in relationships. Sometimes you stay in relationships when you shouldn't be staying in them, but they're keeping you safe, you know? So that's a thing that I'm seeing here for you, okay? Uh, you may be considering uh, relearning something or maybe you have maybe you have some tickets that need some upgrading or licenses that need some upgrading, that kind of thing. Um, so you'll be taking that seriously and doing something about it. Others of you will take short um, educational things that might increase your opportunity for money making, um, real estate, landscape, all those kinds of things to do with the earth. Um, you don't have a lot of money to put towards stuff like that, but you know, don't forget to invest in yourself. You're worth it. If you are in a relationship, Capricorn, and you aren't liking it, it could cost you some money to get out of it. I do see some Capricorns getting some bad news about someone they love, but again, I'm being told to tell you that even though you may be unprepared for the information and may be worried and scared about it, um, I'm being told to tell you to, there's an opportunity that could help change that energy and make it way more positive. So look for it. Okay, look for it. Don't worry as much. Just be proactive instead of fearful. If you don't like the leadership in your workplace, change it. If you're the problem in your workplace, change it. And if you're in a relationship with someone who isn't spending enough quality time with you, change it. If you don't care if they spend quality time with you, maybe you need to change that relationship. Because Capricorn, life is too short 